A whopping 193 countries, nearly every country on the planet, signed a treaty called the Convention on the Rights of the Child. It ensures that children's rights are respected, that states always consider the child's best interest, and that children under 18 aren't executed for any reason. Every 10 years, a committee of human rights experts reviews each country's adherence to the treaty. The committee's made up of 18 independent experts from all over the globe. In 2015, the committee reviewed Iran. It didn't go very well. Iranian officials often accuse human rights organizations of political bias and unfair treatment, but they're short on proof. This meeting is a rare behind-the-scenes look at exchanges between human rights experts and the Islamic Republic of Iran. After the usual introductions and niceties, the chairman of the committee, Mr. Mesmer, asked Iran to clarify a glaring contradiction. What they say they're doing about executing children is at odds with what's actually happening on the ground. Mr. Mesmer is a professor who focuses on children's rights. Uh, we clearly have read your report, and I quote, no death sentence is issued for children, end of quote, and that, open quote, the policy of the judiciary is to avoid heavy sentences against children under the age of 18 or to change them subsequently through pardons. That's what your information says. But uh, again, there are contradicting informations about the fact that there are reportedly at least 160 child offenders that are on death row in prisons in Iran. Uh, there are reports that say that in the months of October 2015, uh, two juvenile offenders were uh, executed, uh, Fatima Salbehi and uh, Samad Zahabi. Therefore, with regard to the explanation... Mr. Mohaddis, a representative from Iran's judicial branch, answers Mr. Mesmer's concerns. His voice is dubbed in English for the international audience. ...that we have. There is no uh, preemptive punishment, which is execution for the age of, under the age of 18, uh, is not being implemented. Therefore, well, that's crystal clear, right? No children under the age of 18 are being executed. Mr. Kotran isn't buying it. He's a lawyer who helped draft laws protecting children in countries like Tunisia, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and Oman. He was also at this same meeting 10 years ago when the community reviewed Iran in 2005. And when we look at your Islamic penal code as revised in 2013, there is a possibility for judges to attenuate the death penalty for under 18s. But there doesn't seem to be a clear prohibition under the law. And I understood from what you said that until the child is 18, that will not be implemented as a punishment. However, if a child has committed an act that, as you see, is worthy of the death penalty, but not 18 as of that date, then you will wait until the child is 18, and then they can be executed. Kotran's referring to Iran's practice of sentencing children under 18 to death and then placing the execution on hold till they turn 18. No, it's not the case. Mr. Mohaddis explains why that could happen. The criminal responsibility age and the categorization that our lawmakers had uh, if the children between the age of 15 and below 18 commit killing, the kasas would be issued. This is the right of the blood owners in order to forgive and pardon the criminal or carry out and execute the kasas. Therefore, it's not the case in order to keep them until 18 and after 18 execute them. No, it's not such a thing in our law. So, earlier, Mr. Mohaddis said that Iran didn't sentence children to death. But he just now said that Kisas allows for children to be effectively sentenced to death even if they're under 18 years old at the time of the crime. Confused yet? Well, there's more. Remember when Mr. Mohaddis used the term age of criminal responsibility? According to the criminal responsibility age... Well. That defines when a child is mature enough to stand trial for a crime. The problem is, in Iran, the age of maturity for boys is 15, and it's only 9 for girls. That's in clear violation of the Convention on the Rights of the Child. 
which prohibits death sentences for anyone under the age of 18. We have civil responsibilities and there is a difference as well. Miss Winter is an international judge who focuses on protecting women and children. But, uh, to make a child nine years old responsible for a treatment in the worst case scenario that is uh, equal to a treatment of an adult is a part of a problem. And we would be very happy to have your ideas about what can be done in this regard. Our judges should be trained. Mr. Abbasi is Iran's deputy for human rights and international affairs. His answer to why these changes haven't been made is basically these things take time. A branch in the Ministry of Justice. Uh, it couldn't be done overnight. These are not something uh, to be done easily. It takes time. It is time consuming process. And he finally passes the mic to a colleague who then talks about all Iran is doing to train and educate children. This goes on for another 10 minutes. Greetings to distinguished guests. At this point, the committee is clearly frustrated. I think I'm the only member of the committee who was there in 2005, 11 years ago. I think we actually are back to the questions we raised in 2005. Kotran sums things up by stating that the committee is asking the same questions they asked back in 2005, 11 years ago, and they're getting the same answers. Basically, nothing has changed. Furthermore, when Iran signed the treaty in 1991, they signed it with a pretty sizable and rather vague reservation. Here it is. Any law in the treaty that goes against Iran's interpretation of Islamic law will not be followed. It's so vague that if it wanted to, Iran could decide not to comply with any of the convention's articles. When uh, uh, Iran ratified the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, no uh, reservation was made. When uh, Iran ratified the COC, a reservation was made. So I'm asking myself why a reservation concerning children are they more... Uh, uh, more difficult, more dangerous for, for Iran than the others? So I believe o Oman uh, also has just withdrawn its general reservation to the convention. The committee just doesn't believe that the reservation should apply to executing children. You highlighted. I don't believe it needs to be invoked as something that stands in the way of reforms that we have been waiting for for more than 10 years now, both when it comes to the general reservation. Since 2000, over 100 individuals have been executed for crimes they allegedly committed when they were younger than 18 years old. Iran's legislators could follow the rest of the world and change the age of criminal responsibility to 18 and stop executing child offenders. That way, Iran's representatives would have fruitful exchanges with the UN committee. Indulgence on the few minutes again. Thank you very much. They wouldn't have to be forced to justify the unjustifiable. Thank you.